Invigate Insight can build a single repository for all your IT assets in one location for your agents and IT staff to leverage as they go about their daily work. Let me show you. Hi, Matt Barron, Product Specialist at Invigate. With Invigate Insight, you can discover, import, manually type and integrate to many sources for your IT asset inventory and configuration management database or CMDB. I'm going to walk you through how an asset technician or IT service staff will use our solution. Before we get started, you can always grab a trial instance of our software at try.invigate.com and follow along. Now, technicians won't necessarily use the dashboard every day, but it is here and it is useful and completely customizable. But one really useful feature is the health status. You can configure what healthy looks like and then know that the unhealthy assets need some attention. So for example, I've got 79 devices here with our firewall disabled. And of course, in Computers by Health, I have 79 devices that are unhealthy. That's because I require they have the firewall turned on. Now, you can see that this would give you some backlog. So there's some stuff waiting there that I might need to work on, but it's more likely that you have a set of assigned work that you need to crank through today. And whether that work is assigned within Invigate Service Desk or some other system, you'll probably receive a machine and then need to look it up. For this, you can scan the QR code by putting it up in the global search here, scan the serial, barcode or the QR code, type in the asset ID, or you can just search for the user. So for example, I've got Nancy. When I search for Nancy, it shows me all of her devices and products that she uses. And this goes for all searching. Let's say you're going to a specific office or location. You can see all the assets in that location by simply typing location is, and then the location that you're going to. Now locations are nested, so you can also say that they're inside of each other, um, and that way you can see either the entire nation or a specific office or lots of locations within that specific op office. Maybe you want to see that you've got 129 assets in your New York location, but you wanna know which ones have tickets open. So for this, I can add the open tickets is greater than zero. And this is gonna show me all the assets in that location that already have an open ticket, so when I'm going there, I can fix them. Then, once you find the equipment that you're looking for, you can open the details of the assets themselves. I'm gonna go back to Nancy here and pull up her laptop because I'm doing a swap for her. I'll pull up Asset 05, and this is the view of a computer running our agent software. So this machine has a ton of detail in here, like crazy detail. I've got everything I need right here. The RAM, the printers, the software, everything that I need to know about this computer. Now, let's say that I'm swapping this machine out for a new one. I'll take this asset and I'll put it in a repair status. This way, I know that it's not out in the field, it's not being assigned to someone. I can also change the location from New York office to my specific workbench. And I'm gonna pull Nancy off as the owner because we're gonna get her a new laptop. You'll also notice here that I can remote into machines directly from this view by just clicking this button. And we're using TeamViewer here, but you, we support many different protocols. And there's a ton of useful information in here as well for agents that are doing that sort of remote work. Like, for instance, which printers are installed? Who was the last person who logged into it? Uh, what open requests are there for this specific device? What's changed recently on the device? You can see all the things that change on the device, the entire history of the thing since we've been tracking it. Another thing that you'll need to check a lot is the warranty status, especially if you're repairing computers. So if I go to the financials tab here, I can see that the warranty expires in two days. So I'm gonna get this out to the manufacturer as soon as possible so we can get that cheaper repair. So there's tons of information. Another view you will likely run across as an asset technician or service desk agent will be the other views of assets. 
For instance, I'll clear this filter here and we'll pull up a network device. Let's say that I'm doing some work on an access point. I'll pull up an access point here and you can see it's largely different. There isn't as much information here. That's of course because it's just an AP, but I do have what I need in the MAC address, the IP address, maybe the make and model, serial number, super important stuff. And I can also see things that are out in the cloud. So for instance, if I go back to assets, clear the filter, we'll search for AWS, and I'm gonna pull up all of our AWS assets. So these AWS devices, like this one for instance, is running Ubuntu. Uh, I can see specific details about it, um, but you can see that the details are different because this doesn't have the agent installed on it. Now we all know that these things move around and need their details updated so we don't lose things. And if you're viewing an asset and need to create a work record or ticket, you can do it right here under requests. Just click on new request and it's gonna open up service desk so you can fill out the ticket right there. You will likely also need to see the applications and contracts within your organization. For that, we go to software. Now I'm gonna group software by name so we don't see every single install, but instead we see the titles and then summaries of them. And this will be where you need to go to reharvest licenses that aren't being used, look up details about specific software titles. Maybe I need to look into an Acrobat Reader. I can see specific details about this Acrobat install. This is also where you're going to see metering. So if we, if we wanna know if people are using the specific application, we can see their usage on it. For instance, if someone is going to um, make a request for Notepad++, I can actually go in here, search for Notepad, it's gonna pull up plus plus, and I'm gonna see the devices and who's been using it within the last seven days. Now, this summary screen is super useful because it gives you other information like how many people have it installed, what's the historical usage on those devices, uh, what category and standard type of license is this? Some of this information we're populating for you because we want a summary of everything about this software, including the contracts. Now, Notepad++ doesn't have a contract, but if I go to contracts, I can see specific titles that do require contracts. I can see how many people are using uh, Office, for, for in this case, in this example. And it's gonna show me the individual installs that go along with this license or this contract. So nobody needs to type in these categories. Nobody needs to fill in a bunch of information. We provide a lot of that, but you can get complex if you need to. And you know the contracts that I'm talking about. The last area where analysts will spend some time is in the CMDB. This useful aspect of our software allows teams to map and manage the connections of the various infrastructure that delivers our business services. So here's our business intelligence service. You can see it depends on, you know, some storage, an EMC storage device. We've got a computer. Obviously there's some switches involved and some cloud uh, aspects involved. So you can see not only the CMDB like this, you can see the cost of all the assets. You can see the requests on all the CIs. You can see a specific map which shows whether things are gonna change or not, as well as all the activity across all the devices within that specific service. And this is just one perspective of Invigate Insight that's designed to make technician and agent work easier than ever. For more on this topic, check us out on YouTube or discover our solutions by signing up for a trial at try.invigate.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again soon.